Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how to provision a window virtual machine in Microsoft Azure. And then we will also see that how to install a web server that is IIS server onto this machine. We will then uh, try to access our virtual machine uh, using a browser. So we keep our HTTP port open. So we will see that when we try to access it, it will show you the default page. And uh, we will also demonstrate that if you want to make some changes in, in the default page, then how it can be achieved. So we'll change the default page and then again access our uh, web server to see the changes that we have made onto this index page. So let's start. Okay, this is my uh, workspace, the, the area where we are going to do our exercise. So in this particular exercise, in this demonstration, I am going to create a virtual machine. So these virtual machines you can say are running the kind of uh, business application. These are the application servers and uh, the customers are trying to access these servers. I have already made one machine, virtual machine. I have named it as virtual machine 2. And I will one machine I will demonstrate how to create. Already we have seen that how to uh, you know create virtual machines in the Azure environment. In the many previous videos we have discussed this thing. So here you can see this machine has already been deployed. Here it has one IP is given here, public IP address. If you copy this and if you go and paste and try to access, already have I have installed the web server onto it, and you can see that this is the default page which is showing to us. So when you install a web server, it has a default page, and I have modified that page and it shows now this information. So what we will do, we will again. Uh, create one more virtual machine and then we can change its default page and we write as server one so that we can distinguish that there are two servers server one is showing the default page as this is server one and uh, uh, server two is showing the default pages this is server two so we can easily distinguish okay so we'll go here i'll go to create And then we will use the resource group already we have created. So you can create a new one and you can keep all the virtual machines. It means in our case, all means the two virtual machines in the same resource group. I am using the previous resource group that we have created. Then virtual machine name. So you can say VM2. Sorry, 2 is already created. Let's say VM1. And I am using this East Page uh, ACI. So the VM2 is is inside this particular region we are keeping the default window server here and rest thing is as it is here we have to give credentials to access our machine you can give any name and we will also want to access to the browser so we'll also give the and then mount port we set http and rdp okay so we are done and create so it will do some initial validation and once it is done we are allowed to create our virtual machine so it is it is saying that validation passed you can create your virtual machine So it says deployment is in progress. It will take some time to properly configure. And uh, so I am demonstrating just one machine uh, completely how to start from the scratch and then uh, install a web server to it and change the web page. So here you can see this is the virtual machine which I have already uh, created and get it ready for our exercise. This is one that we have just created. So if you uh, go to this machine and if you look to the public IP address, so in this machine there is no web server installed on it. So if I want to access this, it is not showing anything. So let us first install a web server onto this machine. Connect to this machine. So we'll go here and click on connect. And then we use the RDP for connection. So we'll download the RDP file. 
you can use this click on connect So here we are connected. You can see this is the IP 20.2.150.141. This is the same IP 20.2.150.151. So it will take some time to properly configure and get ready to work on this machine. So very first thing is we need to install a web server onto this virtual machine so we'll go here click on add roles and feature it is still not properly configured it asks for more time so let's wait to get it configured properly for us once this machine is ready we can uh, install whatever you want onto it so in our case we i just want to install the web server so I believe it's ready. We'll go here. And then we just click on to next. And this is what we need for role based or feature based installation. Click on next. Okay. We'll just click on next. And we have to select this web server IIS. And we say add features. Go for next. Okay. We'll keep all the things default. And just click on next. And then it will ask to install. Okay, you can say install. And it is installing this web server onto this virtual machine. Okay, so our installation is done. Now we can just uh, access this web server uh, from our browser. Okay, so we'll go to here we'll just copy this and then so you can see that our web server is properly installed on virtual machine 1 and if you go to virtual machine 2 and uh, try to access using a browser You will see this kind of page is visible to us because I have modified this page. So for virtual machine 2, this is the page that, uh, that is showing to us which with the message this is server 2. The same thing I am going to do it for virtual machine 1 web page. Okay, means I am going to web server and the default page I will change to this is server 1. Fine. So how to do this? We will uh, go to our machine here. And then we have to, uh, okay, go to, we'll go to File Explorer here, File Explorer, and we go to C drive. We'll go to that path. It is defined in C, and then you go to inetpub, then www root. And then you see that this is the page that basically displays. This is what we see. It is showing to us. We just click on to all the options which are showing to us. Okay, this is what we see in general. Close this and we will go to our uh, uh, file explorer right go here file explorer go to so we have to go here okay yeah, so you can just uh, create one text document and uh, in this test document we have to write 
let's say I will write this thing. I use this tag h1 and I write this is server 1, something like this. Okay, and we have to save this. Save as we write is iis start dot stm and then we keep this as all files this format you if you want to change encoding it does not matter much so the only thing is we have to write the file name as iis start dot stm and save as type all files click on save and you want to replace the existing file yes now this is done so let's see what is the impact of it so now if we go here let me disclose all this if you go to this right this is server 2 and we have made a change for server 1 let us refresh this and this is saying this is server 1 so we have successfully installed the web server on both the virtual machine i have shown only for one machine likewise you can do it for both the machine this is server one this is server two i think we are done with this exercise and you have understood so this is all for this video thank you very much